So I would like to welcome today Rasika Shirsagar for our today's podcast. Let's dive deep into inspiring journey of yoga and spine health. Rasika is a yoga teacher and a co-founder at Ajinkya Meher Yoga Shala. Also she has completed her teacher training courses from various institutes from Mumbai and Mysore. So I want to know from you what is the science behind yoga? How did it start and uh, what is it? Can you just explain us that? So uh, yoga as we all know is a spiritual science which is now uh, subtly you know making its way into physical and uh, the mental practices. So it's an overall holistic uh, science of healing the mind, healing the body. It's a healing modality and it dates back to say 5000 years back and uh, its origin was in the Indus Valley civilization ke time pe you know how it was found that acha yoga hamare ancient texts mein hai vedas mein mention kiya hai aise uh, we ki- we kind of got to know that this belonged to us this was in our culture correct so um karke, you know it kind of it was always there it's the it was always there in today's modern uh, era and times wo abhi zada popular, popular ho gaya hai, you know because of its uh, fitness aspect or its uh, healing aspect so ye sab aspects ke wajah se abhi wo zada popular hua hai and thanks to people like you who have been teaching yoga to people how is rasika's journey into yoga how did you start? Uh, how yeah. did you get inclined towards yoga? Can you tell us, explain us that? Sure. My journey of yoga actually began when I didn't know it was yoga. It was called yoga. So, it's just heard in childhood that you know, uh, mummy is doing, classes chal rahe. You know, there are local classes around. We all know, like now today we have one. So that way we all knew that this is there. But at that point of time, as a child in school, I didn't know. And then had some allergies, uh, some sicknesses, you know, that wouldn't go in spite of doing certain things. Then we take medicine, but then it occurs again. It didn't fix my problem. It would take care, of course, but it didn't fix my problem. So there were certain things that probably just kind of inclined me. That let class join kar lete hai. So join the class, then probably found it. It is helping. So continued. Then continued in college as well, did some, uh, my yoga journey actually began with pranayam practice. So pranayam really helped me heal certain areas uh, in terms of physical um, illness. And then I actually came to know that, oh, this is yogic study. You know, before that I was just practicing ki, Haan, yoga hai, yoga hai, without consciously being aware of it, that it is a yogic practice. So, when I got to know it, I thought, oh, nice, good. Okay. Then it is about the lifestyle. lifestyle. It is not just about that one exercise or one pranayam. It is about how I am incorporating it in my routine, uh, that practice. Then eventually improved my habits, routines, waking up, drinking water maybe, uh, exercising, then fueling my body with the correct food or the nutrition that it needs. Then started noticing over a period of time changes in my overall health. Also, it just kind of gives you that confidence ki hum achha kar rahe. There's no, no stress as such. You are following Energy. certain routine and it's a healthy habit. So problem hi kya hai? Like it's nice, it's helping you. So why not? It's helping me lead a better life. So that's how I came into it and I was studying um, academically my company secretary course but in my final exam I realized that oh no maybe this is not meant for me so which is when I kind of took that call to resign from the work that I was doing and uh, went on to do a basic course first to understand whether it is in alignment with what I am thinking about it because it's like a leap of faith that you're taking by switching careers. So I was sure that I don't want to do that, but I wasn't sure how will this be. But I also had some faith ki chalo karna hai because this was quite aligned to the lifestyle I had developed. So I did a basic course. Kiya. I went on to do my advanced teacher training course. 
and that's how I got into it. I also met my husband, and then life continues since then. So now, because our topic for today is spine health and yoga, yeah. I would like mm. to know from you a very basic question, which people, my patients, usually ask me. So my patient, me, go ask me that, sir, you have given us physiotherapy advice, but we are doing yoga already. So now we don't need to physiotherapy. So we want to know how physiotherapy or yoga is different from physiotherapy. Yeah. And uh, what are the things which you are, if you are doing yoga, should we do physiotherapy or should we avoid physiotherapy? That answer we want to know from you. Yeah. Uh, I would like to put it this way that physiotherapy will correct your maybe those aches, pains or you know, kuch specific hai, conditions specific conditions physically right and of course that has to be done very consciously with awareness ki aapko physiotherapist ne bola hai aur aapne sirf kiya without understanding it probably it's not going to work that way uh, likewise even in yoga practice if you are practicing asanas just like that um, probably you know it will be very short lived so I feel one shouldn't stop what they are doing, but take help of something to complement that other practice. Like physiotherapy, we have had students who are taking physiotherapy so that their asan practice can get better. Because asanas mein zada flexibility involved hai. And strength muscles mein comparatively kam hai. So it's more of the inner strength that the asanas and pranayama uh, give. But in terms of physiotherapy, it's working more on a physical level and which is so important. So I feel even I, myself, I have done, uh, I've, I had, uh, what, what's that called? Carpal tunnel, uh, tunnel syndrome. syndrome. Then I had a severe nerve, nerve. Uh, pain in the shoulder. So I think I kind of took help of physiotherapy to heal that and I've found good results. And also complementing it with my uh, strength training. So I find that one shouldn't leave that completely saying that or disregard that कि हम ये कर रहे हैं तो ये नहीं करना है ऐसा नहीं है आप इसका help ले रहे हो so that this may be what I love practicing so I take help of this so that I enjoy doing this more because asanas में मुझे pain होता था कोई कोई asanas में मैं नहीं कर पाती थी because वो limitation है तो वो मेरा इससे ठीक हुआ and then I started kind of doing this. So that's, I think, separates two modalities like, you know, physiotherapy, this science and this science. It's totally different. And Correct. one should take help of this to kind of improve that or this to kind of improve the other or anything that you enjoy doing. Correct. Likewise, even with doctors, I feel when students come, na, they, they have this thode reluctant hote hai. जाने के पास डॉक्टर के पास कि अरे नहीं कुछ आ जाएगा ऐसा नहीं है पर मेडिकल साइंस इट इज देयर लाइक यू हैव टू यू डोंट हैव टू योरसेल्फ बिकम डॉक्टर्स राइट एंड दैट्स व्हाई ईच वन इज अ एक्सपर्ट इन देयर फील्ड द परमहंस योगानंद हैज सेड दैट स्पाइन इज द हाईवे टू इनफाइनाइट सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स वी शुड डू इन योगा टू प्रिवेंट स्पाइन प्रॉब्लम्स इन फ्यूचर परमहंस योगानंद हिमसेल्फ वाज अ इवॉल्वड योगी राइट he started the Kriya Yoga and uh, you know in yoga spine is like the backbone Uske bagar aap khade nahi reh sakte. it supports the body right and uh, physically of course the exercises that we do are to support your spine to stabilize your core to have an enhanced posture but um, yoga ke jo practices hai you know they are to uplift that energy through the spine so there's this, uh, if I can say it, ki energy channels hote hai. Mm. You know, your right, your left, energy channels. There's always this energy in motion. So wo apna kaam kar rahe hai. And that is when you're doing exercise or asanas, uh, that is moving in order to kind of give rise to that dormant energy. And that comes through the spine, base of the spine. So yoga mein uska... Uh, meaning is that when you do asanas or pranayam or do kriya, karte ho, you are activating those dormant energies, those inactive energies and they are 
giving rise to that active energy to flow through the spine, spine. and that is why the infinite say Words you know come. that uh, correlation that uh, to reach that divine power like uh, it's basically now if i say yoga yoga is a whole word right whereas asanas is a is like 10% of it it's a branch of the yoga the whole word of yoga so through these practices that is happening like you are reaching the infinite potential that one can discover in oneself that's more like the spiritual aspect so which is why i think that uh, yes this practice is amazing and as said by guruji uh, paramansa yogananda uh, they are like evolved and you know they were great yogis and i call them yogis of course so because they have lived a life like that so uh, i think um, through these practices unhone you know they've experienced that to kind of being uh, be able to say that that you know through this you can reach that infinite uh, stage through the spine spine aisa <coughs> yeah good so uh, this is how we know that uh, how important the spine is <laughs> so coming to a lighter question where i want to ask you is that people keep asking me i last year i asked your question about um, Yes, you did. We'll ask you this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that the benefits of spine that. will come to that yes, again. Yes, correct. But correct. Uh, on a lighter note, I'll just come to a questions where our patient both pushed me. Mergo. So they keep asking me. I get DMs on Insta and Facebook. Ki about mattresses. That I'm not going to ask you. But also about positions of sleeping. Hmm. Which is the best position to sleep according to your uh, you or uh, your yoga practice? Which is the best position you should sleep on? best position also depends on how um, one's body structure is also and another is it depends on these factors that uh, if you already have an existing pain then what could be the position that one should sleep in so it it's like um, not one size fits all like you know aisa nahi hai but agar kisi ko back pain hai to मैं उनको सिर्फ बैक पे ओ दैट्स द बेस्ट पोजिशन सो लाइन शवासन आई आई वी कैन नॉट रेकमेंड दैट प्रॉबेबली फॉर देम टर्निंग ऑन वन साइड और यू नो एडजस्टिंग देम सेल्स विद द क्वेश्चंस पिलोज एंड सपोर्टिंग देयर बॉडी दैट वुड बी द बेस्ट सिचुएशन स्लीपिंग पोजिशन सो आई थिंक इट वेरीज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन बट फॉर अ हेल्दी इंडिविजुअल आई थिंक वन ऑन द साइड like which we called as dradasana in yoga and shavasana if one can sleep on the back that's also nice with support under the knees back and i personally feel that works for me so yeah for yeah. me that so that you rightly well. said whenever there is a particular condition you have to adjust accordingly so whenever a patient has sciatica or slip disc yes. or is has radiating pain he'll not be able to lie down flat on his back yeah. that is where when we ask them to sleep on a uh, side correct uh, and a knee towards the chest or sleep flat on the back keeping the pillow under the thigh that hmm. is the position we ask the patient yes. to take so it depends what condition you have and um, what uh, position you should take yeah now i want to know that we spoke about physiotherapy and yoga hmm. now i also want to know about the current trends which are going on zumba pilates how are these different from yogas and um, these celebrities we keep seeing that they endorse zumba pilates and different form of other physical activities how are these different from yoga and what do you think of them um zumba is basically a newer version of aerobics yes you know earlier it was aerobics so aerobics ke liye jaate the abhi now it's more like zumba so uh, of course the one who must have founded has thought about something and it's a fun way of dancing basically and you are doing certain movements but it's so high impact that uh, we've had students i i have known people who have had injuries also because it's so high impact knees shoulders neck and um, they love dancing but they can't do it because they have these pains so um, i think zumba mein there's not much awareness on the alignment correct it's just a form of dance so hardly any warm up or there is warm up certain people do them well um, i don't know how it is actually i have been there but i had a good 
experience with it and I enjoyed so it was good but it was just for some time whereas Pilates I feel is more uh, profound in terms of say someone with back pain or to you know correct their posture or to strengthen their muscles um, Pilates I think works more though I haven't done it but uh, the forms that I have seen are kind of helpful um, core activation core activation correct and that also elevates yeah. back pain so because there's so much of control also it's not just high impact but it's there is uh, you feel the work that you're doing but it's also kind of steady steady okay. movements so you, also what i feel is not only to treat or pre, uh, back pain also these things should be done to for conditioning of spine as we keep talking about this conditioning of spine last podcast also and wherever we go we keep talking about that you don't wait for you to have back pain and then start correct, exercising correct, correct. this is very important to start exercising if you have a desk job if you have a sedentary lifestyle if you yeah. feel that you have a weak back you should start some form of physical activity hmm. like you said yoga or zumba or pilates any form of physical activity is good but it should be done under a uh, under a professional or a trained person also we start doing things when things start to hurt like i said <laughs> you know you only uh, don't think from a preventive care of point of view but uh, only after it so my next question is on that only so what do you recommend do you recommend yoga for back pain for treating back pain i'm talking about so we spoke about how we advise patients physiotherapy when they have uh, back pain also we ask them to continue if they are doing yoga and um, in general population also if they don't have also have back pain also we tell them to do yoga but okay. what about if they have some spine condition do you recommend doing some asanas or yoga and if you're a student let's say if you if somebody having back pain do you tell them or recommend them to do yoga yes it needs to be uh, you know given personal care and attention and then it can be done along with i think the help of physiotherapy also so it's a good combination i feel so there are many asanas that help in creating space in the spine you know there's so much of uh, compression that happens over a period of sitting longer or uh, less movement i can say less mobility less walking or things like that so uh, in terms of not just only when there are aches or pains but even otherwise like you said that you can start taking care of your spine by doing asanas or say even if it's physiotherapy but that comes more like a treatment point of view but asanas can be done in general to um, take care of your joints your muscles your spine entirely and there are asanas um, specifically that one can do in terms of having some certain issues a specific condition there are asanas that can help to improve that so correct. i and think i think uh, we all should be in coordination the doctor correct. the yoga practitioner the yoga yes. teacher or a physiotherapist we all should be in sync what uh, we are providing totally. to patients so totally. sometimes uh, we have patients who have slip disc or we advise them extension exercises yeah. or sometimes we ask them to avoid extension that has to be conveyed to the yoga uh, teacher so that they avoid those certain activities you yes. know and then they'll be help the other asanas will be helpful for it them it kind of gets better then you know they can start are doing uh, those asanas but sometimes it's kind of uh both extreme way situation mein le leta hai log ki hame karne hi nahi bola ye you know so once it heals i think it's a good way to incorporate something um in your practice uh knowing the condition ki may, maybe only till this range i can practice it's a good way to um move your body but also knowing your limits so that way it prevents injuries also correct so lot of people have come to us after post covid because they mm. have had this sitting job mm. long hours of sitting bad posture all these have contributed of lot of back pain mm. and uh, we've got so many patients who have you know this uh, sedentary lifestyle or long sitting hours mm. so uh, obviously we recommend them yoga and you would also recommend them yoga what are the things which you would recommend them first of all secondly in yoga in yoga in yoga practice in yoga and secondly i want to know 
if a person is at home if mm-hmm. he's busy let's say he's having 10 or 12 hours of his job and he's doing uh, his uh, work from home let's say and he has no time to go to a yoga teacher mm-hmm. can he do some yoga at home is it necessary to have a yoga teacher or he can also do it at home himself why not one can practice at home by themselves but if they are new practitioners someone who's never had any experience of uh, any movement any exercise never been athletic in their life i feel it's um a professional an expert a coach is needed for them to guide them to start with and then probably yes um uh, they can do it by themselves also but uh, it's very important to have some coaching uh with a trained professional an expert to guide them to understand so that you don't end up doing something else by yourself that's it Correct. you know it's just that reassurance that okay this is good this is good for you this will maintain the health of your spine or overall body so yeah why not so it's i feel that it's nice to start with a teacher or with a coach and then eventually you can do it by yourself as well at home yeah okay so the uh, next group of people are uh, age related problems hmm. so aged people yeah. where uh, they would want to have a holistic approach yeah if you ask them to have a physical activity or go to the gym and all they would prefer having uh, doing yoga or going to a yoga teacher because they want uh, they feel that it's a holistic approach so what do you recommend for uh, uh, elderly or aged people and about the spine health people usually have spine problems at that age yeah. age group so what do you recommend to them hmm so with senior members i feel <clears throat> joint movements with the basic ones that anyone can do are very important because uh, as they age you know there will be limited mobility arthritis all these things start coming you know um and someone who is not been active in their early years might have these uh, more often rather than someone who has maintained a active or a healthy lifestyle so i think for them it's very uh, important to at least do some movements to maintain um, their posture movement in the joints you know strengthening and all of course as you said it's not kind of feasible for them to go to a gym or attend a class very regularly but um, i think some simple asanas really do wonders for them in terms of maintaining their health simple movements very basic and simple movements and even on if if they are lying on a bed you know aise bhi bahut sare asana hai that can make them feel fine with whatever range they have in their body so i think it's accessible to everyone by first knowing what their condition is or even otherwise so i think it it yoga can be accessible to them also yeah okay so nice so uh, that is what we also keep telling them yeah. to have uh, you know uh, if they like doing yoga most of them like doing yoga early mm. morning they want to go somewhere and start doing yoga we promote it we ask them to keep doing also, it also i wanted to say not only um, asanas but why seniors like it is because pranayam meditation yes, that's you what. know that's why they more of a holistic holistic approach, approach yes so uh their discussions are, in a class would be more of this ye karne se ye acha hota hai na ye karne se wo acha hota hai na so you know it's more of the mental practices for them and uh, very basic physical practices so Correct. in my experience i have uh, noticed that correct of times yes abhi ek certain aisa group hai jinme bahut back pain hota hai hmm. and hamare uh, bahut common patients hai hmm. this pregnant woman hmm a lot of pregnant women they'll have back pain during their uh, you know pregnancy period and they'll come to us and we cannot advise them any medicines or anything because they'll be you know uh, yeah. uh, so ek group of people hai jahan pe unko bahut back ache common hai which is pregnant women hmm. okay i get lot of pregnant there are a lot of pregnant women who come to us with back pain first trimester bolo second trimester third trimester and to a level that they, it's unbearable hmm. and we cannot give them a lot of medicines or anything so we also advise them a lot of yoga asanas 
postures and everything and also physiotherapy now i have heard that you also practice pregnancy yoga so what is your take on it yeah so yoga for pregnancy is completely different than what i teach in a regular class because it has to be uh, i mean i have to study each one's case as to what pains and aches they have or any troubles that they're going through uh, because some pregnancies can have complications low to high and according to that so someone with a back pain i think for them um i personally guide them through very with basic movements like i would teach seniors like i would teach seniors that okay you know because i think uh, that is the time when they have less confidence ki yaar abhi aisa hi hai so you know the kind they kind of start creeping into that state of mind ki we are in ache we are in pain you know hum nahi kar sakte abhi kya kare so they, it's more like an helpless kind of a situation सो बहुत माइल्ड मूवमेंट्स जैसे मैंने बोला जॉइंट मूवमेंट्स सम आसनाज वेर विच इज़ मोर एक्सेसिबल टू देम लाइक फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर में ट्वेल्थ वीक के बाद ऑलमोस्ट आई स्टार्ट द क्लासेस वंस द डॉक्टर गिव्स द गो हेड कि नाउ यू आर ओके टू स्टार्ट सम फॉर्म ऑफ वॉकिंग एक्सरसाइज योगा आसनाज Uh, जो भी आपको स्टार्ट करना है आप कर सकते हो देन दे कम टू मी दैट ओके यू नो वी वांट टू डू दिस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट इफ समवन हैज दिस आई यू नो प्लान देयर क्लासेस यू नो अकॉर्डिंगली जैसे फॉर लोअर बैक पेन इट इज बट नेचुरल दैट एज द साइज ऑफ द यूटरिस स्टार्ट्स गोइंग ग्रोइंग बिगर सम एक्सपीरियंस दैट पेन वेरी नेचुरली बैलेंसिंग के इशूज होते हैं पेन्स होते हैं सो दैट इज़ नेचुरल इट्स अ वेरी नेचुरल प्रोसेस बट आई फील फॉर दो स्पेसिफिक कंसर्नस आई गिव दैम लाइक यू नो कीगल एक्सरसाइज पेल्विक फ्लोर एक्सरसाइज विच वी कॉल्ड एज विच वी कॉल एज अश्विनी मुद्रा इन द आसना योगा प्रैक्टिस so those help strengthen the pelvic floor muscles correct hmm. so that uh wo unko acha lagta hai like you know that kind of gives a sense of like oh this felt nice then uh, basic there are parvatasana stretches like that upward stretch of the spine side lateral stretches mild back bend and forward bends of course not depending on the size of their belly so these kind of relieve pain is what in my experience i have come across ki ye basic movements bhi aap karne lago na once it starts getting better then i ask them that okay now if this is okay we can try doing that because that's how they start enjoying the process of um asanas during their pregnancy, pregnancy. so yeah in but basic movements like i said it is called parvatasana um upward stretch spine ka uh without hyper extension you know some tend to hyper arch natur- very naturally natural. so yeah that is what then uh, i offer them to do okay yeah so there are certain people they come to me let's say a certain specific age group also there are kids with bad posture और अडल्ट ऑल्सो विद बैड पॉस्चर दे कम टू मी सेंग दैट मेरा पॉस्चर बहुत खराब है आर देर एनी बेल्ट और एनी अदर स्पेसिफिक रेमिडीज फॉर दीज पॉस्चर करेक्शन आई कीप टेलिंग दैम दीज बेल्ट आर ऑफ नो यूज यू शुड ट्राई ऑन योर ओन इंडल्ज इन मोर एंड मोर फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज इन्वॉल्व इन एक्सरसाइजेस ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी कीप टीचिंग दैम एंड टेलिंग दैम कैन योगा करेक्ट पॉस्चर वॉट इज इट can you tell us about it yeah um so there's this practice which is called as ayangar yoga if you've heard about it yes uh so ayangar yoga basically was started by bk sayangar guru ji and it's done with the help of props like if someone is like this you know how are you going to tell them that okay sit like that they might be like this for a minute and again be like that because there is so much of stiffness that they are prone to you know kind of collapsing their shoulders every time so there's a yoga belt that comes you know right. or uh, yeah even a dupatta if they don't have a yoga belt so we use that to kind of help them it's more like the belt only as you mentioned um 
uh, the posture the, the posture belt right but they are posture correction belts so they claim that if you put them on and keep them on for a while your posture is corrected which is not um, uh, the correct but, way but uh, it's more of a habit i feel uh, mm. you know the belts kind of are tied in a way where your shoulders will not keep drooping every time so it's about then lengthening those uh, lengthening the back muscles also mm. so when you kind of lengthen the back muscles the it enhances the posture like you said ki physical activity to karna hai hi but uh, physical activity se pehle they have to focus on conditioning these um belt ke through ya yoga wheels hote hai ya yoga ke blocks hote hai hmm. to simply you know resting your spine on that so that your posture is you get used to opening the chest muscles more often you know so those things help to correct the posture over a period of time so uh, if if some people expect quick results also which is practically not possible if you are not practicing but ye aapko daily bhi karna hai you know certain things like a dose of medicine would do you f- you have to finish the dose to see that if you are getting better with that medicine correct so like we recommend that aapko सिर्फ पाँच मिनट ऐसे करके पूरा दिन यू विल से दैट आई हैड पेन दिस डेंट वर्क आई थिंक इट हैज़ टू बी डन से इन द आफ्टरनून इन इवनिंग बिफोर बेड टाइम बेसिक मूवमेंट्स आर अ मस्ट मस्ट करेक्ट सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम स्टिफ बैक हेमस्ट्रिंग स्टिफनेस एंड विच कॉज लॉट ऑफ पेन दे कम टू अस विद दिस स्टिफ बैक आई आस्क दैम टू बैंड नॉट एबल टू बैंड बिकॉज of the sedentary or inactive lifestyle and everything how does yoga hmm. uh, increase spine flexibility or strengthen the spine how is it i think in yoga everything is revolved so much around the spine that uh, you know the main focus is on lengthening your spine with all the asanas even the fancy postures if you have a poor posture you can't really do that so uh spine is more like it's like uh the core of your practice the core of your asan practice your pranayam you can't do pranayam like that or correct. you can't even do pranayam with an hyper extended back so it just has to be the correct engagement and sitting in a position where one can feel comfortable for breathing so um for spine flexibility there are asanas mobility i would say um you know the basic cat and cow yes you know <laughs> that what that's be. the best one best that's one. the best one to do or um even there is low bhujangasan also cobra pose uh, you know covid ke time pe bahut sa uh, doctors were guiding yes, patients to do that in a prone position, prone position. uh so that's a great one to correct someone's posture gain mobility and this can be done in maybe some repetitions before not just simple holds but some repetitions two to three times four times so i think that really um, improves the posture, posture as well as the spine health and it's very important because um, i think you can breathe better your organs are functioning also at the optimum so all these things are quite connected right to each, other. To each other so rasika let us talk about yoga for recovery post surgery rehabilitation does yoga have any role yes it helps on a um uh, emotional and mental level to kind of have one peace of mind but uh, i recommend that one should um start with physiotherapy sessions to kind of um gain more steadiness in the movements in whatever uh, however it's prescribed and then once they kind of feel they are ready it's a nice way to incorporate the asan practice into their routine and um, yoga practice may basically for emotional and mental health i would say that aspect of yoga practice will help them because after a surgery you know you can't immediately bounce back to everything so to kind of have that stability that practice helps along with the physio sessions the physiotherapy part of uh, yeah that yeah. will help physically 
सो यू स्पोक अबाउट इमोशनल एंड मेंटल वेलबींग सो लेट मी आस्क यू वी हैव पेशेंट हु हैव क्रॉनिक नेक पेन हु कीप कंप्लेनिंग अस अबाउट क्रॉनिक नेक और बैक पेन एंड दे आर नॉट एबल टू वर्क दे आर डिस्टर्ब इन लाइफ दे आर नॉट एबल टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन देर वर्क दे आर नॉट एबल टू सिट फॉर लॉन्ग सो फॉर सच पीपल फॉर देर इमोशनल एंड मेंटल वेलबींग what do you suggest what are the asanas or what are the yoga practices they should do yeah for mental and emotional well being it's very important for them to be also um, addressing their physical health like you said asanas uh, there are simple movements like i said parvatasana seated parvatasana lateral stretch uh, seated twists you know spinal twists seated forward bend um, and for the lower body they can do just by sitting on a chair they can do pigeon stretch figure of 4 that we say uh seated forward bend seated pavan muktasana like hugging the leg to your knee those positions will help them gain more confidence which uh you know kind of start giving them a sense of um peace that okay now we are able to do this and then uh once that confidence comes you know it's nice to kind of um take them through the whole process of how they can start leading a more active lifestyle like you know taking walking frequently in between um work like get up sit down get up sit down stretches. get yeah like do stretches or simple seated stretches that can be done you know these like basic movements just open your arms out because you're constantly doing that on the screen or you are you know only like that in a position for longer hours imagine the impact it's having on your overall posture and of course the uh, less blood circulation throughout the body less breathing you're not breathing with awareness so these things kind of um take a toll on their mental health also provided um other habits also kind of follow up khana time pe nahi khate you know sleep patterns are disturbed Healthy so all lifestyle. of yes correct so all of these things disturb the pattern of life so i think doing these basic movements stretches getting up walking these are a must so that they can feel emotionally better that um you know these can kind of boost our energy throughout the day in between work and it's very very important because it's nice to feel a certain way like everyone wants to feel better and uh, that way even the productivity improves right in work so yeah also we tell them to indulge in more and more of other activities so that they you know drift away from their pain mm-hmm. or the they are lot more concentrated the whole uh, mind is concentrated inside on in at the pain side or they keep thinking about the pain so we try to tell them to practice you know meditation yeah and uh, yeah i was just going to say that that uh, practices like pranayam you know pranayam meditation that also helps in channelizing your energy to something better rather than only focusing on the pain but uh, we have to kind of uh, go step by step in way. sorry no worries so i'll ask you again yeah <coughs> Mm. we try to tell people that don't keep focusing on your pain side or try to do something else or try to indulge in other activities so that the focus drifts away from the pain so we tell them to do meditation or other uh, activities so what do you suggest yes i was just going to say that that uh, practices yogic practices like dhyan pranayam uh, with simple movements help to channelize your energy in that direction you know rather than simply being focused on this pain i have this pain i have this pain so you're constantly telling yourself that um you know i have this or i have to live with this but you have to kind of make that change so that that pain reduces or kind of is completely gone but uh, practices like pranayama and meditation help in managing the emotions Correct. like if someone's feeling frustrated they can simply uh do some simple practices like equal breathing like inhale with a count of 5 1 2 3 4 5 exhale with a count of 5 and focusing on how the breath is moving so that kind of just sets the tone of them not being disturbed as much so that's how you can shift your focus from this to this, this that way 
सो कैन यू टेल अस फाइव फाइव पोजेस और फाइव आसनास विच वुड बेनिफिट अवर स्पाइन for to for day to day practices daily practices daily. so i'll put it again you mean without any aches pains people ah, with ah, any so again so can you tell us five asanas or five postures which would you know benefit spine in long term hmm or spinal health in long term hmm so i will actually mention all the spinal movements there are six movements that we say first is an upward stretch which is actually called tadasana it can be done seated as well as sitting it's just an upward stretch and hold this position or maybe like this or maybe like this there are modifications to this then there's a downward movement which you call as forward bending right so the spine um going in an extension so that is one second is the lateral stretching these the side ones then the seated ones seated twist is like simply maybe holding a chair you can do these and hold the position but you need to take care of the lower body position also like feet flat and you know you're sitting at a, a certain position and upward downward lateral twist and um these i mentioned can be done seated and also standing while you're sitting on a chair or even standing and other than that a uh, downward facing dog which is called as uh, adho mukha svanasan simple mountain pose that that's a great one for the spinal health even bhujangasana that is cobra pose so these two are uh, kind of very nice in of course different ranges to maintain your spine health yes yes so these asanas or these poses early in the morning or before you go to the bed are very helpful to keep you know uh, for conditioning of your back or a better spinal health yes yes so coming to the end of this podcast let us ask you what is the future of yoga what do you think you've been in this journey since a very long time now earlier we used to not be in yoga and everything now the lifestyle has changed post covid everything has started changing yeah. we have been, we started practicing world yoga day also all these things have come to india and people have become more aware what do you think is the future it's booming i would say it's booming people are becoming more aware uh, i think it's becoming more popular in terms of activity uh but i always emphasize that it is more than that activity it's more about uh, spirituality and science both so it's not just a science or it's not just spirituality but how you are using the practice to improve your life as an individual and um, it talks about creating harmony within yourself between your mind body and soul so i i think if everyone tries and understand this aspect um as we all know it's kind of going to be uh, really really helpful and big uh, in terms of uh, there are so many yoga teachers that are kind of you know so many youngsters taking up uh, teaching yoga teaching as a profession profession so it's nice because earlier it wasn't that way it was only for the elderly yoga bolenge to sirf old old people are doing yoga but now it's not like that since Young uh, also. since the international yoga day was announced in 2015 uh, there's quite a lot of awareness about how the practice is how um, it's beyond the asanas how the yoga philosophy is how it's helping people um, integrate that practice into their life so overall along with like i said with the support of other sciences you know it's not just that like we can't limit it to only yoga practice you have to take help of other professionals like we mentioned earlier so yes i think uh, it's going well and hopefully it should be the same <laughs> in so, the future thank you so much rasika we've got to know so many things about yoga today so we know now so we know now how yoga is important for conditioning of spine 
for people who are having a sedentary lifestyle for people who are suffering from back or neck pain or spinal problems Correct. everybody all these people pregnant women aged people everybody needs yoga even kids even kids sorry so even kids yes and how it is a science and a combination of science and spirituality yeah. and it gives you a holistic approach for your well being yes so i think all of us will start following yoga and start practicing asanas for a healthy and uh, you know for a healthy spinal health yes thank you so much thank you for having me thank you very much